sleep whisper hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Just as I started recording this, I feel a bit of a, a gas build up and I might have to do a bit of a burp. It's a bit like, you know, when you feel you need to sneeze, but you try not to because you don't want to disrupt the wedding ceremony. It's a little bit like that. It's okay, I think it's gone down. My stomach just made a bit of a grumble. So I'm sitting in my big black squeaky chair. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for listening to these Deep Sleep podcasts. And this podcast is probably the most popular one out of all the ones I do. I do have about 33 different podcasts on Spreaker and also shared around the various podcast hosts like iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher and TuneIn and various different ones. And sleep podcasts that you may want to check out, I don't know. One is called, oh, I can't remember the names of them, what are they? Oh, one is the it's a Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, and that's another one that's really popular, but I only ever did seven seven of those recordings but I'm thinking about maybe making some more but people keep coming back every day to listen to them so they must be useful hopefully and the Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcast which is it's different from this I mean firstly I'm talking not whispering Last longer, it's about an hour plus each recording, and it's me just waffling on and just being very boring. That's, that's really it. Uh, and I've got some, a couple of podcasts that have my sleep hypnosis recordings on from going back to 2007 so it's quite a, quite a, it's not loads and loads but there's a few recordings there uh, what if I can have a podcast the 7 day hypnosis cure uh, what else it's also I've got a hypnosis for for relaxation and panic attacks so that's sort of gaining in popularity as well and it's 34 recordings on there so there's a few different things quite a few different things to choose from but I just wanted to thank you for uh, giving me a reason to make these recordings because if I you know if I didn't have anyone listening I wouldn't make them so that's one way to get me to stop <laughs> by stop listening and downloading and I'll, I'll stop but hopefully that day won't come so thank you and I will get on with the recording it's amazing how today for some reason I'm in a real waffle a waffle mood 
recorded and let me put you to sleep earlier and I talked for about 75 minutes I just it didn't even seem like more than about 20 minutes and I don't think I even finished a whole sentence I just kept going on to something else and moving on and distracting myself so I think what I'll do today is let me think what should we do I think we should focus just on the part of your brain responsible for So I do sometimes need to move around a little bit. I mean, I'm not. Con- 
constantly like jumping up and down and you know rolling over from side to side but sometimes I need to just manoeuvre myself a little bit because how can I expect you to feel relaxed and calm and comfortable if I'm not doing that and I can guarantee 100% whenever I'm talking about feeling relaxed I feel relaxed with you when I talk about focusing in on your right foot or your left hand or the back of your neck I too am focusing on that part of the body and I too and feeling that sense of relaxation in that part of the body and when I talk about imagining something such as uh, let's say you want to let go of your worries and anything from the, the day that's just gone by and you just want to let that go and imagine just attaching all those things to a thousand balloons and letting the balloons fly away because they're full of helium and they just fly away and it's carrying a basket full of all that trash from the day that's gone by and you can just watch it float into the air it's gone so you can feel more relaxed and calm and much more able to let go. In fact, there's nothing to let go of. And when you're doing that, I'm also doing that with you. So I am with you on the journey. And when I talk about feeling relaxed and feeling sleepy, body feeling heavy I too am feeling that just you know it's weird just by saying about your body feeling heavy and it's not just my body my head as well it's actually resting my head was wasn't resting against the back of the chair the whole of my body was now it is because it's as if it's just got a life of its own and it wanted to rest the same as my body and I can feel my face and it feels somehow but just uncreased in a sense like all the stress and the wrinkles have just disappeared as if there's no tension at all in some ways it could be a similar thing to having Botox because right now I can't imagine really being able to make much in the way of a facial expression because my face is so relaxed there's very little going on there I mentioned this would be a really good look if I was playing poker because the people on the table would think I'm 
used in the same way as you think about eating when you're preparing the food maybe before you prepare it when you prepared it while it's cooking and while you're eating it but once you've eaten the food the meal or whatever it is you've just had It's done. There's nothing to think about regarding that. Maybe the washing up, and that's it. So I'll have my dinner at the table in the living room on a plate. It's less messy when it's on a plate. And once I've eaten, I no longer want to see that plate. I don't mean ever. I mean, you know, I don't chuck out the cutlery and the dishes. I do wash them, but I don't. I'm not interested in seeing food because it's not relevant anymore. In the same way as if you get the train to work. Go to the train station on your lunch break and stand waiting for the train because you've got to go back to work. It's it's not time to go home yet. It's not time to think about that train or that bus. It's April now. It's not time to think about Christmas or the winter. Unless you're, I suppose, a farmer or something. Or you're a seasonal worker, but you know, generally. It's not relevant now. So when you go to sleep, or when you lay down in your bed, you put your head on your pillow, which triggers your body to feel completely heavy and relaxed. Heavy and relaxed. Which then sends the trigger for your mind to slow down. your thoughts. Like 